It's a monumental opportunity here tonight at No Limits as she takes on AQA in her first title defense since defeating Ion for the Diamonds Division Championship inside of a steel cage. And what a Diamonds matchup that was. Man, we still got to catch our breath, Brad Gilmore. We've got a new Texas champion. And that was one of the most physical affairs I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. Big shout out to Mike the Truth Jackson for joining us on commentary. What a hell of a fight. And her opponent from Gilbert Town, Alabama. And is it a sign, Matt Topolsky, of things to come? Will this be the night of new champions? We're guaranteed a new reality wrestling champion. Will we see a new Diamonds champion tonight? It is very possible. This Diamonds division is ultra competitive. We saw Alex Gracia break onto the scene here at Ladies Night Out. And now she has an opportunity here at this reality of wrestling pay-per-view, no limits tonight to capture that Diamonds Division Championship, but Angela has been through hell and back, including recovering from a devastating injury at the hands of Hyun, to get to this moment right now where she is a two-time Diamonds Division Champion. It's gonna take everything Alex Gracia has to defeat the champion here tonight. Here we go, I talked to Alex Gracia earlier tonight about her big opportunity here on Reality Wrestling Pay-Per-View No Limits. I said, what is your mindset going into this match against AQA? She said, look here, I'm excited to be back in reality wrestling. I just got back from Japan, and I have the utmost respect for Angela, but I truly believe I'm just a little bit better. Well, she's going to need that confidence if she's going to defeat Angela, a.k.a. AQA, here tonight. No! Oh. AQA got the, the, the gold and purple on tonight. I don't know if she's a Laker fan, but I, they didn't make the playoffs, man. Did you know that? Well, not only did they not make the playoffs, they lost their president of basketball operations, then they lost their head coach, but hey. Not a LeBron show's still doing well. That's true, here Come we go. Right here. Kick out before, count of one. Oh, oh nice little hit. trip there by AQA on Alex Grassi. These two women definitely have a lot of respect for each other and also have similar styles, both very athletic, both very agile. Look at that. Balls through right here. Both shoulders on the mat, kick out of two. Learned a lot out there in her tour. It lasted about six weeks. Look, a sign of respect for the two women. Both very still new in their professional wrestling careers, Matt Tukolsky, but I've already accomplished a lot in a very short period of time, and I, I think that's one of the things that's so exciting about this Diamonds division and certainly about this matchup here for the Diamonds Championship is there's a lot of upside for both of these two oh. young athletes. If they stay healthy, they have long and productive careers ahead of them in professional wrestling. Look at that though, interesting pin maneuver from AQA. Still to come tonight, the Reality Wrestling Tag Team Championships on the line, the Cool versus a oh, wall on a pin. Up with a bridge here from AQA, that might be it. Kick out of two. The Cool versus the champions, Warren Johnson and Zach Mason. And what are your thoughts on that, Brad Gilmore? You know, there's been some oh, some dissension in the ranks between Team Fly Death recently. It looks like they buried the hatchet, but then again, you just never know. Yeah, you got to be able to trust each other when you're out there, especially defending your championships. And I think Fly Death, they've always been fighting champs, and they get serious when it's time to. Sprinting European uppercut into the corner there from the champion. Oh, and now a sling blade perfectly executed from AQA. And she, right there, is pointing to the top, calling her shot. What is she doing? Oh, is she going to look for that shooting star press? Well, That's she, what she hit on Ion in that steel cage match, which won her the championship. She is no stranger to the top rope. But it might be a little bit too early in the matchup to go for that. a 6-1-9 type maneuver and knocked Angela off the top rope. And now Angela grabbing the back of her head and her leg. The champ might be in trouble. Well, it's Gracia right there channeling her. What is she doing? Whoa, right hold on here. Sweeping the leg and now going to work on that knee. That's very nice. It is an interesting strategy, though, 
If you're going to take any advantage over AQA, try and keep the athlete grounded, and I think that's what Alex Grassi is trying to do right now. Well, here's the thing. If AQA can't get up there, especially try to get that shooting star press, she might not be able to put Alex Grassi away. And now Alex Grassi, a little bit of a mean streak coming out, targeting that left knee. AQA and Hyun had a lot of battles against each other. And that is to try and ground them. In, th in this case, now the champion. Will it pay off for Alex Grassi? Well, thank you for joining us for Reality of Wrestling's No Limits. We're at realityofwrestling.com and on Fight TV. We're still going to crown later on here tonight a brand new Reality of Wrestling champion in that No Limits Battle Royal. Had an incredible night here so far. Clay Roberts finally getting that W. And of course, we have a brand new Texas champion. And Alex Gracia looking to make more history here in this Diamonds Championship match. Big shot to the champ, AQA. And now follow it up with some shoulder thrust in the corner. Alex Gracia, when she was in Japan, maybe learned a little bit of that strong style. She's coming with some real stiff shots of the champion, and the champ's still gripping that left knee. Well, it wasn't clear at first when this matchup began. Well, pin attempts here, cover. Two, and a kick out. It wasn't clear at the beginning of this match what Alex Gracia's strategy was going to be. I think we're seeing it now. She's trying to keep the champion on the ground, keep her grounded, keep her from using that athleticism and that agility and perhaps she'll walk out of here tonight with that Diamonds title. It would be a major upset, but it kind of, that's kind of what the Diamonds division is, really, when you think about it, Matt. Yes. Some of the most surprising wins or some of the most shocking wins have been in the Diamonds division. They have been. It really has been upset City on more than one occasion. This certainly is not Alex Gracia's reality wrestling debut, but her career has been short here at the row. But it could be a lot longer if she wins here tonight. Oh! Well, it can't be longer if she gets too many punches like that to the face. Like a freight train, AQA just running her over. Another sling blade from the champion. Alex Gracia's efforts to keep AQA from firing up here looks like they are not going to work after all. Oh, insecurity in the back of the head. Here we go, pinfall. One, One two, two, that could be all. Oh. Kick out there, about two and a half for Alex Gracia. At one point, momentum was on her side in this match, but no longer. Once the champ got her second win, it's been all AQA ever since. Well, you think about what AQA has been through in her short career here at the Reality of Wrestling, Brad. Uh, now a two-time Diamonds Division champion. She's seen quite a bit from some of the best female athletes this division has to offer. So she is no stranger to the big moment. Gracia trying to fire back. Looks like she may have grazed her, but didn't get all of it. Oh, wow. Two. Thought we might add a new champ right there. Very possible, as Alex Gracia is struggling to get to a vertical base. And now, letting out a scream of frustration. I don't know if she thought it was going to be so easy to come out here and beat AQA. Shots now, forearm shots in the center of the ring. No! Oh. Alex Gracia once again going back to that knee that she worked on earlier in the matchup. AQA trying to fire up, springboard. Oh. Missed the mark right there, swing and a miss. A the challenger. AQA, even on a somewhat hurt knee, was able to jump in there. Oh, look at this, look at that pump handle. Oh, boom, she got it, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, Cover. that might be all. One, two. in this matchup, but AQA was not about to relinquish that title in her first defense since becoming a two-time Diamonds Division champion. Like I stated at the outset, she walked through hell to get back here, and it's going to take a hell of a lot more to take that title away from her. Very impressive.
impressive here tonight. Angela still on top of the Diamonds division.